Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we have a special little video for you of some last minute Father's Day gift ideas. These are all going to be Amazon Prime eligible. I'll have them linked down in the description below so you can just click through and get them or know what to look for on Amazon. I'm going to have different price ranges for everything, a little bit of everything, and then stick around to the end to see a little unique gift that maybe some of you haven't thought of yet. Maybe you'd like to try. So if you like the video, hit like, subscribe for more content like this of some great gear reviews for everyday carry. So let's get right into it. Starting off with a pocket knife. Now, everyone's dad seems to carry that pocket knife growing up, whether it be an old case slip joint or whether it be something like this. And so the first Father's Day gift idea I'd like to talk about is a pocket knife. Now we're gonna to try to run through these pretty quick. Like I said, links will be in the description of where to find these things, how to find them, what, and uh, all that. But right now I'll run you off some prices. Uh, coming in on the lower end, we have the more for work oriented. If you're getting your dad something that he can take to work, take somewhere with him and beat on it pretty well. You have the Ontario Rat Model 1, the price on that. And all these, like I said, are Amazon Prime available so they can get here by Father's Day if you order in time. $32.90 on that. Next, we have the Honey Badger Knives. Well, Honey Badger. Uh, this one comes in at $37 for not this exact version, but one of the versions like this. $37. Bucks. Very nice little knife. Um, next is the QSP Penguin. Not this version, but the Micarta version. Micarta is like a very, well, this is Micarta right here. Almost a cloth feeling handle. Um, that version is $32.66 on Amazon right now. Up next is something a little nicer, something with a wood handle. This is the Civivi Elementum. And um, these are ball bearing flippers. They're very, very nice knives. Uh, great for whether your dad's into knives or not into knives. Just something nicer for him to carry out. Price on this is $63.75. And then we have one of my personal favorites. If you're looking to spend a little more on him, this is the Kaiser Roach. This is $75. Very nice little knife. Fits in your hand very well. Now, a pocket knife is something that, you know, you'll see your dad, like, at church or out in an event, and he'll have some kind of crappy old razor knife in his pocket that he's used for years. And this is maybe something that you can get him to class it up a little bit. All these are very nice knives that could... Uh, that could very well be carried in a more dressy situation. Maybe not a suit, but in a dressy situation. So everybody needs a pocket knife. I believe everybody should have a pocket knife on them at all times. They're useful. They're great. They'll get you out of some situations. And, you know, in worst case scenario, you can have them to protect yourself. So a pocket knife is a great one. Like I said, the price on this one is $32.90. Price on this is $37. The price on this is $32.66. Price on this is $63.75, and the price on this is $75. So go check these out on Amazon. See if there's one you like, one you'd like to pick up for your dad. I have them in all different price ranges here. It's a good quality knife that will probably last him the rest of his life. And that's the whole point of this list is to get something for them that isn't trash, isn't garbage, something that will last and is made with very good quality. So pocket knife, great for your dad for Father's Day. Next, we have the next thing I think everyone should carry, and that's flashlight. <laughs> now, as you can tell by these, I am somewhat of a flashlight lover. Uh, I don't think you can have enough of them, and uh, if you ever start carrying one or using them all the time, I think you would agree. But here we have some products from Olight and one from Streamlight. I had one, and I don't know where it is. We had a get-together, and I let someone use it, and I'm afraid they walked off with it. But uh, one that I'll talk about here in a second that is probably the best bang for your buck. But uh, we'll start from this side and go this way. This is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Comes in at $20. Uh, very, very great light for someone who is like maybe in maintenance, does inspections quite often. Uh, 100 lumens, which is not super bright, but this is one of those lights that is a lot better than a mag light, a lot better than you know, just having nothing at all. This is the more for, you know, carrying somewhere with you, uh, smaller light, triple A light. This takes two triple A's, this takes one triple A. This is the Olight i3T EOS. 
This is 180 lumens at its brightest, but it also has a lower mode for when you're walking through the house, you don't wanna wake people up or you don't want to have light shining all around. Maybe you're just looking through your bag at night or something. This is great for that type of situation. And this is $19.99 on Amazon. Next is the i3T Plus. This is a little bigger. This is the double A version, or I mean, uh, two triple A version of this light. This one comes in at I think right at 300 lumens, I believe, 300 lumens. Uh, and it also has a low mode for looking around in your bag at night, doing whatever. This one's a little longer. Uh, great little flashlight though, high quality. Like I said, these things will last you for a very long time if you take care of them. Next is the Olight i5T. Or I'm sorry, this is the i5R. This is the copper version. Uh, this is not the one that I have. Oh, that's completely dead. I let the battery run out on that. But this is 350 lumens. So this is going to be three and a half times brighter than this one. Uh, also has a low mode and a high mode. The regular looks a lot like this, except it has a rechargeable battery. This is just the AA version, the i5T. That one's at 30, $29.95 on the or $29.95 on the website. These are at $35.95. A nice rechargeable uh, light for, I would get this over the i5T. This is the i5R, which is rechargeable. Um, this is better for not having to replace your batteries over and over again. You get home every three days, take the battery out like this, plug it in, and you're good to go. So next is the Baton 3 from Olight. Now this is more of a... Um, another smaller light to carry with you places that packs a super punch. This is uh, 1,200 lumens, 12 times brighter than this one. You can see this thing is super bright, um, and it has many, many modes as well. So it has a low, medium, high. Double tap for your turbo mode, which is 1,200 lumens. And then it has something called moonlight. If you can see it there on the table, super duper dim. Uh, this is... You know, like you don't want to wake the kids up. You're checking on your child at night or something. And uh, this thing's pretty sweet. But the reason I had this out is if you're working on something with this light, it has a magnetic tail cap. This, I, I, I carry this light every single day to work if I'm not carrying one of these other ones just to switch it up. And might I say that that magnet comes in handy so much. So this is the Olight Baton 3. These are priced at $64.95. I know that's steep. But boy, let me tell you, it's worth it. And also, for $99, you can get the charging case that goes with it. Now, these have little magnetic tail caps that come with that you just click them on there, they charge. Uh, that's how you charge these. No taking a battery out, no anything like that. That's another thing I like about them so much. You just take them, have it plugged in, plop it on there, and it charges. But for $99, you can have a carrying case. If, the, if someone likes to camp, likes to go out on excursions for a few days at a time, this is what to have. This uh, can charge your light. I don't even remember how many times, but quite, I think five times if you charge the, the, this up fully. So that's this, uh, the Baton 3. Now the S2R Baton 2. This is the bigger version, of course. Uh, this one is, I think this one is 1150 lumens. Uh, again, got your turbo mode, got your... Uh, I don't know how to say that. Your dim, your middle, and your brightest. <laughs> and then you've got your moonlight mode again. So these two lights are pretty much the same, just different bodies. This one has a bigger battery in it. Charges the same way. Everything like that. These aren't available with charging cases. But these on Amazon. And if you just want a good flashlight for somebody, this is the one I get. If they're going to carry it, I would get the Baton 3. But if they're just getting it to use it, I would get them this. This one is priced at $69.95 on Amazon. And like I said, all these are prime eligible, so you can get them here before Father's Day if you act fast. Uh, this one also has the magnetic tail cap on it. If, if they are a mechanic or they work on things constantly, this is the one I would get them. It's a pretty strong magnet. That one's a little heavier, but this one, well, that was a bad, <laughs> bad uh, representation. But if you're just going to set it to something, it's not going to fall off from its own weight. Maybe that's the way I should have worded that or explained that, but... Yeah, so you've got all these lights. Again, links will be in the description. You've got the Streamlight Stylus Pro, Olight i3T, i3T Plus, i5R, Baton 3, and S2R Baton 2. You can check out the link in the description, like I said, to look at all of those. Next up, 
Now, every, it seems like, especially grandfathers, I don't know about dads anymore nowadays, it seems like you always have to have a watch. And so, just like I did with the knives, just like I did with the flashlights, I'm gonna give you a bunch of different price points for watches here. Ooh, let's get these all together. I'm gonna try to arrange my price here. <laughs> just give me a second. All right, there we go. So, in order, we have the Casio A168, the Casio 200H, the Casio AE1200WH, or the Royale, the World Time, uh, the Timex Expedition, the Casio W100, and, or SW, SGW100, there we go, and then the Timex Expedition Chronograph. So, uh, these are priced at, the A168 is priced at, just uh, stick around. Oh, I didn't get the prices on these, crud. Um, I believe this one's... <laughs> Just take my word for it this time. I believe this one comes in right at $20. This one also comes in right around $25. This one comes in right at $30. This one's right at $40 to $45. I believe this one's $40 actually. These are $45 and these are $55 to $60. Sorry, I didn't have the prices ripped down on that one. Um, but yeah, so if you want something, if your uh, father has a smaller wrist or just doesn't like a big watch but wants something a little dressier, the A168 is great for that because it's got that nice stylish uh, steel clasp or stainless steel clasps and uh, bands. And um, yeah, a great little digital watch. It's actually kind of dressy, looks really good on the wrist. I have really big wrists and this still looks decent on mine. If you want a good in-between watch that you can wear to work or that he can wear to work or somewhere nicer, you have the uh, MWR200H. This is a very nice little watch, 100 meters water resistant, so you can swim with it. You can do whatever you want with it, and it's a nice little watch with a day-date window and, you know, just a nice little quartz watch that's going to stay on time and stay correct. Now, this is my favorite, I think, of the batch. <clears throat> I found this at Walmart for $7 the other day, so you might want to go check your local Walmarts because they're trying to get rid of them, but this is the Casio World Time or the Casio Royale because it's uh, it looks like a watch that was in a James Bond movie. They gave it that name, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But this is actually the AE1200WH. Now, they have versions of this with these resin bands on it, but my favorite is the steel band. These come in right at $30, $35. In my opinion, this is the best bang for your buck. Uh, great watch. Has your analog time, has your world time, has your always at home time. It's going to be right here. has five alarms. Great little watch. But if you want more of a classic field watch aesthetic, go with the Timex Expedition. The Timex Expedition Scout is a great watch for the money. Uh, these are what I got started on. This was actually my first watch that I bought. Um, great little watches. Uh, you know, just simple, very stylish. Something that you can, again, wear to work or wear out somewhere. And this is the, I like to call this the closest thing to a G-Shock without being a G-Shock. This is the Casio S. SGW100. Very nice little watch. It has a compass, temperature, your day, your date, and your time, of course. So this is a really great watch right around the $45 price range. So if, your dad, if you're looking for something for your dad that he can work in and beat, 200 meters of water resistant. Uh, this has 50. This one has, I, I, I didn't run over that. I'm sorry. This one, I wouldn't swim with it. It just says water resistant, very low water resistance. This is 100 meters. This is 100 meters. This is 50. Again, probably wouldn't swim with that. 200 meters, do whatever you want. Go diving. <clears throat> do whatever you want. And this is 100 meters. I've swam with this one on personally and haven't had any issues with it. So, I uh, swam with both of these on, actually. So, great watches. So, this one is one of the toughest, one of the best ones for the money. Uh, great watch to just wear. Again, out, but this is more oriented towards work. And then you have your... Timex Expedition Chronograph. Again, more of a fancier dress-up special occasion watch um, with the chronograph, which is pretty much like a stopwatch on an analog watch. And it has your date window. So this is the one I'd go for if you were getting him something more dressy, more casual, more wear out to nice occasions. And of course, go crazy with watches, or you can go crazy with watches. If you're looking for something around the $100 price range, look at Seiko 5 watches. Uh, they have such a huge selection, but all of those are going to be pretty great for the money. 
So here's your watches you can look at. Uh, so let's move on now to multi-tools. So I don't have many for you here actually. Just the three that I use on a very regular basis. And this is, uh, we'll start off here with the cheapest, which is the Victorinox Tinker. This is a 2920. Now, you can get one of these for 20 bucks. Just a little classic SD. Your scissors, file, knife, and toothpick and tweezers. If you just want something to throw on their keys, this is it. But if you want something to keep with you on the daily, maybe you don't want to carry it. Maybe your father doesn't want to carry a pocket knife like that in his pocket. Maybe you just want something that he can just slide into his pocket and it's all in one. Well, here it is. Uh, the Victorinox Tinker has a can opener, bottle opener, tweezers, two separate knife blades, Phillips head screwdriver, which comes in very much handy, a parcel hook, which you just kind of, you can mainly use it to carry things that don't, don't have a handle, never used that before in my life, and an awl to put holes in things if I can get it out of there. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to worry with that. But yeah, this is a great little tool to just slip in your pocket just to have something to be prepared with. You've got your tweezers and your toothpick, just like most other Swiss Army knives. This thing right here is a so useful to have. The, the scissors and the tweezers are two things that are so useful. You never know until you start carrying it how useful they are. Up next, coming in at right at $50. This right here is something that if you get your dad, he'll carry it with him everywhere and probably won't leave the house without it. This is the SOG Power Pint. Another uh, multi-tool with a knife. Um, this one has a file can opener, small Phillips head, which is a, or flat head, which is a great little tool. Another awl. This has a regular knife blade. Scissors. Scissors aren't great in this, but they will do. A saw. A Phillips head driver. And a quarter inch bit driver, which actually does come in handy. If you've got a quarter inch bit laying around, you can use this as a pretty decent screwdriver. But the pliers on this thing are something that, again, have gotten me out of many situations and just very, very useful. Again, you never know. It's just like a flashlight. You never know how much you need one of these until you start carrying it. So it's got a pocket clip, but that's removable if you don't want to carry it on the outside of your, or, uh, you know, if you don't want to put it down in your pocket and clip it, you just want to drop it all the way down in your pocket. It's got a pocket clip right there, or you can remove it. So there's the SOG power pint. Uh, comes in at $49.95 on Amazon. That seems kind of steep, but I'm telling you right now, this thing is so useful. So last one we'll go with is the Leatherman. Now, everyone and their uncle has a Leatherman, it seems, but there's also a lot of people that don't. I know my dad doesn't actually carry one. I think soon enough, I'll probably be getting him one for Christmas or something, but the Leatherman Rebar is the specific one I'm going to talk about. This comes in at $80. It um, has replaceable wire cutters. These wonderful needle nose pliers actually make pretty well, if you can tell, they're pretty well made. Leatherman has been around for so many years. You ask anyone, you know, hey, what kind of multi-tool should I get? They'll tell you a Leatherman. Uh, now, this one has a serrated blade, a saw, and a Phillips head screwdriver. And on the side is a can opener as well, and bottle opener. And then on the other side, real quick, it has a file, an actually really well made file, and a couple different types of flatheads, your main knife, and like I said, a couple flatheads and your all. So for as far as multi-tools go, if you want one that's gonna be more heavy duty, again, this these two will be more for just carrying out and about with you. This one's more for putting on your belt, heavy duty, take to work with you and use it. The Leatherman Rebar is gonna be the way to go on that. There are other Leatherman models that go up to $100, $120, but these are sitting right at 80, and that's a very good price for something that's so useful. So now on to our last two categories. Next we have pins. Now, especially if they work in an office job or maybe they are a manager somewhere, have to do a lot of paperwork, or just if they like to carry a pin with them constantly. These are some wonderful options for that. <clears throat> we'll start off here with, actually, if we're going by price, we'll do them like that. Amazon has a bundle right now from Zebra for the G750 and the 
M701. This is a pencil, a mechanical pencil. So if you're if they're like a carpenter or something, they could use this. It has a an eraser on the back as well. And this is a gel pen, uh, one of the best. I like the seven the F701 from Zebra. It's like this, but it's pen. Uh, this one I actually prefer over that. Very feels a little better made. Feels a little more well made. Um, very good. But they're running a bundle for eleven ninety six right now. So if you're just looking for something cheap to get them that they'll appreciate, these two, this pen and pencil right here is a great combo. Eleven ninety six for the bundle is hard to beat. So up next we have the Big Idea Design Mini EDC pen. Excuse me. Now this is just a little bitty pen that you slip in like that watch pocket of your jeans, and uh, it's just big enough to carry around with you and not get in the way. I really like this pen. Um, I want something this size with a pocket clip that's a little nicer, so I might be looking further on for more things. But Big Idea Design is a well-known company, makes good quality pens. Uh, we'll talk about them again here in a second, but this one comes in right at $39. Um, great little pen, just, uh, you know, sweet to have in the pocket, writes well, not made for writing long essays, just signing your name on stuff, especially with COVID going on. A lot of people don't want to touch those pens that they have sitting in restaurants, so here's your uh, fix for that. Now, let's talk about the tactile turn pins unfortunately they are not on amazon as of right now they do not sell through amazon that i can tell but the company that does is big idea design and they have something around this size a bolt action pin these are made of titanium and if i can get it up close do you see that milling there on the pin listen i mean these things are precision made check this out how cool is that? So precision made, so nicely made. You can't even, you can only tell on camera really where that line goes for the, yeah, yeah, you can't even tell where the line is, where uh, the head of the pin and the body meets. They have precision build these things. Of course, this is going to my father this Father's Day. This is what we decided to get him as a family. These come in right at $100, but Big Idea Design makes some um, for $105 their version of a bolt action pin and these things are oh they're so nice they take a pilot g2 refill and boy they're nice so big idea design is not actually on amazon i mean uh, i'm sorry tactile turn is not on amazon which is what this is but big idea design they are on amazon and they do carry a larger bolt action pin similar to this uh that you know i couldn't i couldn't say anything bad about them i've heard things here and there but i don't think you would go wrong with it so a good pen is something that every man should have on him, and it would be a great Father's Day gift. So one more time, eleven ninety six for these, forty for these, and Big Idea Design makes a bold action pen about this size for one hundred five. So give those a try. Now the last thing we're up to, and uh, this is pretty neat, is if your dad already has all these things that he likes to carry. Well. Oh, this doesn't need to be in here. <laughs> what better thing to get him than something to carry it all in? So this is the Maxpedition EDC organizer. This comes in right at, where did I write it? $27.97. Uh, again, Amazon Prime eligible. So just throw it in the cart and roll with it. You can get them here before Father's Day if you act fast. So let's say your dad wants to take a pocket knife with him. This is a pretty broad, wide pocket knife that goes there. Uh, he wants to take this pin with him or even this little pin with him. Okay, there you go. Multi-tool. Where's my multi-tools? Right here. Let's take the little sog with him. It can go right here. Wants to take the flashlight with him. It can go right here. I personally carry my gear like this quite often. I will tonight for martial arts. We're going here in a few minutes, and I'm going to load all my stuff in here like this. If he has a smaller wallet, I usually slip mine in the back here. And let's see, what else would I carry? Bam, bam, bam. I usually slip my chapstick in here. And I like to always have a Swiss Army knife with me because of the toothpick and the file and all that, so, or in the tweezers, so I slip that right there. And, uh, you know, you've got room for more things. If you want another pin, you have certain things you carry on you, whatever. That can all go in here. And uh, 
closes right up. Bam! Fits right in there, all compact. You have a little place in the front. If you want to put money or something, you know, just slip that right down in there. And yeah, you have something, you know, about the size of like a, <clears throat> a small notepad. Of course, not the thickness, but the size of a small notepad that you can just carry all your stuff in. And that's personally how I carry my stuff to martial arts. I'll leave this like this right here and take off to class here in a few minutes. But there you go. Um, I really appreciate you guys hopefully watching to the end. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please leave a like comment subscribe but here is the things that every man should have and will be a great gift for father's day in my personal opinion you've got your knife your multi-tool your flashlight your pen and something to carry it all in so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said go to amazon check these out i don't get anything from it i don't get paid for this i don't get anything like that i just trying to put something out there to help you guys, trying to get something out there before Father's Day. So maybe you can get online and find something that your dad would like. Um, I know this is stuff that I've personally gifted people most of this, and they've all found a use for it. I bought a flashlight. Actually, look this one up. This is the best flashlight, in my opinion, uh, for the money. The Through Night BSSW1. I'll put it in the description. $25 flashlight. Is a lot like this one has the magnetic tail cap it actually plugs into charge and is super bright that's my best for the money flashlight but i didn't have one with me today so i wasn't able to talk about it but just give them a check out go go to amazon get your dad something he'll use not some crazy funny t-shirt or anything like that get him something he'll use get him something he'll enjoy so hope you guys liked it have a great day god bless